Hi guys, welcome to my course and uh, in this course I will uh, start showing you how we can make a nice like RPG style game like controlling our character almost like a third person controller but more from like a top view kind of thing okay and uh, so for this tutorial we will, go, we will use Playmaker which I already installed here if you haven't please just you know you can install from here and right now I think it seems they have a discount because this was like $65 and I don't know how will it will be when you are watching this class and with that, uh, besides Playmaker uh, you will also need uh, like like a fantasy kind of thing fantasy game maker this one I'm not sure fantasy game maker light uh, casual game fantasy game light yeah make your fantasy game like this is the one you will need which is like a free asset and you will need to like import it into your project which I already did okay and uh, another thing you will need okay let me show you how to set the playmaker so we will after you install uh, you will need to have your playmaker editor here I'm just gonna drag and drop this here so this is where we will set up our notes and things everything like our let's say virtual coding or visual coding without coding by typing let's say all right and uh, another thing we will need is the action browser which and where is it let's let's go again to action browser where is this why it's not showing up i don't know uh, playmaker let's create an object maybe sometimes unity works weird now let's try to add an fsm here yeah here we go actions are here now i'm gonna drag and drop this right here okay and so i'm gonna delete this object right now and another thing i will do is i will save my scene because this is now saving to sample scene i'm gonna save my scene as uh, under the scenes like world one let's say this is gonna be our game area so this is going to be world one guys and uh, another thing I want to do, there is a plugin called iTween, which is actually, let me see, is it here? No, it's not here, which I like a lot. And now it is gone under the actions of the playmakers. So I have it right here, which I will give it to you. This folder. So when you receive this folder, it will be zipped file. Please unzip it. And once you open this folder, first of all, copy this iTween. I say command and C. All right under my project folder rpg and assets and copy and paste that under the plugins okay and then uh, you will again copy this itween actions and now you will go under uh, not the plugins and playmaker blah 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 you will go instead like playmaker and actions you will copy right under the playmaker actions okay now if you, have, if you go back to unity you will see it's making some compiling it is importing scripts and uh, so this is like an animation actions which you can uh, like make the objects in in the game like during the game you can say like go this way like in five units so it goes back and forth you can set it up really nice and smooth so we need to wait a while so if I say iTween, yeah, here we go. We have all the iTween, like move, punch, scale, whatever, okay, we want to use. So this is really cool. We are almost there. <clears throat> so what we want is actually once you import this thing in your project, it, it will bring you like a scene like this. Let's see. So we have, you can either uh, like make your scene from scratch. You can go to pre, from prefabs and you can like bring this right here you see we have a tombstone here and everything so i'm not gonna work with that but instead uh i will go to demo i will open the the demo scene actually all right let's open the demo scene here 
here we go you see now we have our demo scene now this is like a nicely done game uh, I'm in the game scene I mean which I wouldn't use like in my game because this is like a free asset probably many people will do or you can just pick and you know use it don't don't listen to me too much you know just do whatever you want in this gaming world okay so this is our game area basically what the, the developer did is like it gave you a camera like a fly through let me show you what's going to happen if you press play so now you can like with your mouse you can look around and you can using the w a s d case you can like move and you can go down you can look around you know he just did a nice thing on this okay so this is like a first person thing so you can like fly with your camera and whatever but well, we don't want this so i'm going to delete this camera so no cameras rendering here i'm going to create a new camera all right and i will bring this back like all the way okay this is like a nice place right now actually i can make it like uh zero 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 and bring it up okay so this is uh i think nice maybe i can look around yeah here we go let's let's look this way and bring our camera here so let this be our like a game start point maybe okay so i'm gonna save i'm gonna save scene as because we are still at this demo six we are using this demo six unity all right so i'm gonna save scene as and i'm gonna save it to now i'm gonna save it like a world one this is better okay now this is our like a workspace okay this is where we will be making uh, our game now i want to go through some things like uh if i want to make it a little bit more visual looking better okay guys and how we can do that inside unity like how we can make this by the way i don't like this free aspect i want to make this like 16 by 9 which is like a hd kind of look okay like you watch in your movies sorry guys this one and so i'm moving and so this is let's say i'm gonna make this 15 so we are more looking down okay so this is like this will be our game area for now i mean this whole place and uh, now like this is a little bit dull now what i want is like uh, like the cold post processing stack this is this is nice guys you can see it and yeah this you want post processing stack this one this free one okay all right go ahead go away and this is a free item so all you will need is you will say import this is really nice because it gives you like uh, the, the post processing that you will do in any post processing uh, software you know like they do in the movies you can add effects like the bloom effect like the ambient occlusion and the globe and the motion blur the camera uh, how can i say depth of field okay you can set it all right here all right so i will show you in just a few minutes what's going on in here i mean this is i think really important if you are making like a like rpg kind of game and you know it is the the market is competitive i mean you need to be visually uh, you know like competitive as well so try to use as much stuff as you can but always check it uh, if you are making this for mobile you know always check the performance of the game and if it's not worth it just get rid of it i mean the gameplay is the most important thing trust me guys i mean throw away the graphics and everything just make a game with cubes planes you know just one color white and if the gameplay is cool and nice, still the game is gonna win. Trust me. I mean, 70% is the gameplay. Okay, just just keep this in the back of your head. This is more more important than anything. But still, uh, I like doing visual stuff. So, like in my first previous classes, it was not so visual. But now this time, I want to make it like a more visual looking nice uh, tutorial, so you also enjoy like what you are doing, instead of just going like over the theory thing. Okay, now what did we import here? Okay, we imported this post-processing stack. Okay, now let me show you how this thing works. 
we need to wait a while too sorry about that okay let's go to our scene so now let's let's check this uh this the gravestone here now i have my camera and so what i will do i will go to my inspector i'm going to first of all create a post processing how can i say create where is that post processing profile i'm going to say game post profile profile sorry okay you see this is like the, everything that you can control and uh, so I will go to my camera and I will say add component and I will say post processing behavior okay this is important now what you will do you will drag and drop this right here now things should work much better now let's check out what's going on now check this thing okay check out I'm gonna add an ambient occlusion here check you see you see those like soft shadows that's happening almost like a GI like a global illumination okay let's check out the leaves here guys and you can like make the intensity harder and you can say the radius like one you see now if I take it out check out the game area now it is more like a darkish and more shadow it is looking a little bit more realistic and if I turn the bloom on check this out okay so this is what's going on with the bloom so this is like a good make, giving a glow effect to the things, to the material that has the glow material almost, like a, this is an additive material, okay? This is like the particles, all right? Uh, so what, what else we have here? So, and another thing is uh, you can add like a, how can I say, depth of field to the camera. So if I go ahead here and I say focus distance 50 and why it's not working let's maybe I need to play with this yeah here we go I think it's working does it uh, let's let's play with the camera here okay guys sorry about that let's come over here let's go And uh, where is the camera? So if I go to like games profile and depth of field, and if I say this 10 or like a uh, hundred, I really don't get it, you know. I'm not sure why it's not working, but it, it should work one way or another and uh, maybe I need, yeah here we go sorry guys I I totally misunderstood you need to make the f-stop like less actually yeah why not uh, because the the less this you know the more this blur happens I totally got it wrong so this is like the depth of field guys okay so if I were to take my camera and if I were to take it like back now this will become more clear and if I pass by becomes blur you know so it becomes more blur and if I get to another object you see it's getting blue you know it's, it's giving a natural feel like when you are playing a game and if you are passing by this thing it will create a, like a blur kind of effect all right I know it sounds weird like saying blue all right guys so uh, this is like all about it this post-processing style and uh, by the way if I want to add fog I wouldn't do it here I just don't like uh, adding fog here but I just add adding fog like from here all right which the person already I mean the developer already did for us so you can say this density 0 0.2 okay so you have like a more density here so you don't know what's going around okay so I, you can make it like a more black kind of thing all right so it's more much more horrible i mean <laughs> not horrible but more like a horror thing okay and 0 0.7 maybe okay so this is like more like it okay guys so this is what's going on 
so I'm going to make this like warm and make this like hit it like more like a bluish okay and like the developers did I'm sorry about that so this is uh, my setup for my scene which we'll be using you know for setting up our character making him move or blah blah blah, blah. okay so see you in the next class where I will teach you how we can set up our character okay by the way for the time being I'm gonna turn all this off alright so I don't want this to affect our like workspace actually I'm going to yeah I'm just gonna turn this off and it should be okay otherwise you know it can be like uh, how can I say your workspace can like be really heavy so just keep it like this and simple and uh, let's turn our camera where yeah let's look this way and let's move like this all right this is like a much more fresh area now i can turn left i can move not x on the on the z position i can move like this all right so i will stop the lesson right now and now in the next class let's check out how we can like import our character here give him some movements and blah 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 okay okay see you bye